Hi guys, uh, today I want to uh, I want to add some new information about importing static models before passing to explain how to import other types of models. Uh, in the previous lesson, I've uh, um, I have um, showed how to import obj file format models and but I have also uh, said that uh, the preferred file format is fbx so today we uh, make another example about how to import an fbx file format uh, static mesh model okay we uh, choose as previous lesson we choose my static model folder and click on import now we choose a, an fbx file containing a static model static mesh a mesh Static mesh is a model without additional nodes, only one node. Open. Okay. It's less more similar to the OPG import dialog, but it is different from for one especially for one parameter that is collapse fbx why this parameter why there is this parameter fbx file format exporters usually put inside the fbx file Additional informations that are not uh, not so not uh, mm, necessary for S2 engine. There's additional information, especially for static models. There's additional informations are in form of additional nodes to the model node for rotation, for translation, for scaling, etc. etc. Um, these nodes must be collapsed. So, uh, for uh, um, turning the model into a static model, turn the model into a model containing only one node. Collapse FBX parameter is useful also for skeletal model and hierarchical model. In that case, there is a drastic reduction of the nodes. Cause additional nodes, one for rotation, one for translation, one for scale, are collapsed inside only one node. So, in any case, there is a drastic reduction of nodes. In the case of static model, the result must be only one node. So, we check, in this case, collapse FBX and click import. Okay. Right. The engine has imported the models as created an object a prefab containing a mesh object object uh, and naming it with using the name of fbx file and the name of the object you have inside your modeling package your modeling editor in this case old boot load one old boot load one 
uh, sorry <laughs> but this is so okay as you, we have seen uh, in the last sec uh, lesson we can drag and drop the model inside the scene in this lesson we see we can see that we can use multiple insert with multiple insert uh, the engine lets you to insert model the, the object without drag and drop but simply clicking in the scene this is note that textures are um, have been loaded uh, cause in this case we have we uh, add textures for this model as uh, said in the last ses lesson uh, the engine search look for uh, textures everywhere you can everywhere it can uh, in the case uh, uh, you haven't um, you haven't uh, um, you uh, don't see textures on the model the reasons could be two one texture file format is supported two engine haven't, fi haven't f uh, find, haven't found uh, the textures, so you have to manually add textures inside the folder. That in this case is static, uh, my static model. Okay, and uh, click on add. Add texture, add a texture into your project. So uh, you can choose the textures missing, the missing textures, and then use them, use them, as we have seen uh, during the last lesson, for making, for creating, for setting up the material of the model. Um, okay, uh, we can see the model, the model of the object, okay, and uh, ah, um, with the mul multiple multiple insert. I can insert more than one more than one bot inside the scene using different rotations and scaling. Yeah, okay. This is useful when you want to insert easily and fast many objects into the scene. Okay. Uh, for now is all um, to the next lesson bye